Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as the Warriors of Chaos going up against Kislev. So, he's been caught in Fourth March, so big ouch there. Um, his army is okay. Like, it's okay, I guess, to recruit Chosen if you're going to have that kind of cavalry support as well. Because um, the, the Chosen, uh, sorry, the uh, Chaos Knights are actually a lot better than, than at least basic uh, Empire forces. So, Kislev doesn't recruit Hippogriff Knights, so any any Empire Knights we go up against shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. But the biggest problem is, of course, just going to be Force March. That that speed reduction is really going to hurt us. Uh, Archeon here does have some Winds of Magic, and we do have access to the Burning Head. So, that's going to be absolutely necessary for getting rid of their Gunners. Um, Alright, so let's get organized here. We're definitely going to need Archeon to be extra speedy. I need... Hang on, what have you got? Not going to be that useful. Alright, it looks like they're on Manticores, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that one is because the melee attacks got poison. Okay. And leadership. Yeah, really need our cavalry to fight to the death when we send them in. Okay, so here's the basic plan. We need to burning head the crap out of their gunners. That needs to happen. Um, I don't think we'll be able to kill them all. As for the outriders, we can't catch them. There's nothing we can do about them. There's just nothing we can do about them. Um, I could try maybe hit them with a, a little bit of magic. Searing Doom is alright against them, but there's just not much we can do about that. The outriders with grenade launchers are definitely going to be more of a concern. They are too fast for us to catch. So... Yeah, there's just not much, much we're going to do about that. The great swords are like the least of our concern. The mortars, eh, bit of a concern, not that big a deal. So they've got three outriders with grenade launchers. But yeah, the outriders are definitely the biggest concern because I just don't have anything good against them. But I'll do what I can and we'll just see if we can turn this around. Because like, if the if the chosen can get into a fight with the great swords, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. They're very experienced as well, which certainly does help. But yeah, they will do terrible if they're getting shot as well. Absolutely terrible. Alright. So first thing we got to do is... to stay well back. That rock's going to get in the way, but let's not worry about that right now. Alright, he's on foot. He'll have to stay with them. It's good that we've got these manticores here. They could be our key to getting rid of the grenade launchers. Maybe. Biggest problem though is, of course, Force March. I really wish it would, be, it would have been so much better to be caught in Normal March. But, ugh, Force March is going to help. That, that's good as well. But yeah. If we're going to... Oh, you don't have uh, Arcane Conduit. If we're going to win this, we need... Burning Head. So, their speed's 84, our speed's 85, but since we're on Force March, it's a bit lower than that. We can get boosted a bit with Foe Seeker, but not by much. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is get around their backs, because they're not keeping their forces together. But yeah, this... Force March is going to hurt us big time. So, definitely want a burning head, them. Just, um, what are these? Grenade launchers? Okay. Try to get rid of this one here first. The enemy speed is just such a big problem. Because, like... <sighs> there's not much we can do about it. No point in the Chosen to chase after them. And we can't afford to get thinned out 
by this man either. He's gotta try to push them together. That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move faster. There's nothing we can do to pin them down either. Looks like we caught them. That's good. Oh, there we go. Good, good. Once you get them in melee, they'll usually stand and fight for a bit. Just gonna have to suck that up a bit. There's just nothing. Okay, cool. That unit's gone. Just get them off the battlefield. Do they have any armies on Force March? No. Just get them off the battlefield. Make sure they are cut off. No escape for them. We've got them in the corner. That's where we want them. Yeah, there's... Can't do much about this right now. Cut them off. Just need to suck this up in the meantime. Alright, I'm going to pop down one of these. That's it. Don't let them get away. Cut them off. No, you can get back over there. That's fine. This is actually going really well. If we get rid of all of their Outriders, that'll give us mobility advantage, even if we're on Force March. Just get them off the battlefield. Alright, honestly, the damage isn't really that bad at all at the moment. Primarily want to get rid of the grenade launchers. Oh, no, 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 don't let this guy get away. Don't let him get away. Alright, this is so far a decent start. Good. Let's get back. Let's get him off the battlefield. Cool. It was really stupid of them to do this, to send their outriders in like this. They should have coordinated their attacks together. Because that way I could just keep them in reserve. Okay, cool. They're all gone. Let's keep chasing them away. They can't... Okay, um... Thing is as well, as long as they keep running, they'll eventually get tired. Alright. No, you can't be running him out that way. Alright, Archeon needs to come over here. We've got to start putting down some burning heads. Start using some winds of magic. These guys here, they don't have enough ammunition to actually kill the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. They might actually do a fair bit of damage. Get back over here. Get back with the other group. Alright. I mean, even with the Outriders mostly gone, we've still got a lot of gunners to deal with. What I'm going to need them to do... Okay, hang on. Using this... i got to get him fairly close. It's got to be a good burning head. With them nice and blobbed up. You know what might be better as well? Let's start moving into a corner. Start moving the these guys into a corner. That hurts. It hurts. Alright, where are we going to put this spell down? They're too... Sp okay, there's, there's a good spot. Alright, 132 kills, not too bad, but yeah, those those guns really hurt. That spell's really good, but they're just 
They're spread out. That's the problem now. Crap. We had a good start, but now that they're advancing the rest of their forces, we're still very badly outnumbered. And those guys there got wrecked by Empire Knights. That's not good. Didn't see what was going on over there. Yeah. Move these guys into the corner here. Because that'd be the best place for magic. I don't think I don't think the spell did much damage, but there just wasn't any good opportunities popping up. I'm gonna have to leave some guys behind. Another thing is using the cavalry to try to take out the mortars would be good. Archon's already taken a lot of damage. So they were they weren't gonna be able to run away anyway, so might as well do some damage. I gotta get out of this. Yeah, biggest problem is definitely all the guns that they've got. We gotta okay. So that did pretty well. Is it enough though? Of course they're gonna get wrecked, but them slowing them down a little bit buys us time. Okay, Empire Knights are just about gone. We gotta get around them here. Get to Archaon. Ah, pfft. Get to, get to the, the gunners. To save Archaon is what I meant to say. Get out of there. Gotta get rid of the guns. Unfortunately, the Chosen are just, just not really super important right now. Sending them into melee would be a mistake right now. So killing that mortar is more about balance of power than uh, actually killing off an important unit. Yeah, come over here. Take that dude out. Right. God, these Empire Knights are still here. Okay, we'll get rid of those mortars. There's too many guns out here. That is, that is a big problem. Come on, hurry up with that and get back. God damn it, it sucks when they fight to the death. Right, it's only melee infantry here. That's fine. Way too many gunners. Just try to pin down as many of them as possible. Leave them behind. What the hell? Why'd you stop? Okay. Gotta get around here. Get rid of the guns. Big old mosh pit over here should be fine. They'll they'll handle that. But yeah, the problem here is that the gunners just do more damage than we do in melee. So if they have one unit pinning us down and the other one shooting at it, well, we can't out out kill. And since each of our units essentially need to kill two units, that's a big problem. Because we only end up killing half of a unit with each. Like, your army's gonna get wrecked. This is nothing that we can do about that. Don't worry about this over here. This is not important. Um. Yeah, this will be fine. Like I said, focus on the gunners. That over there is not faring too well. Just use a. Let's get him out of there, actually. A non-overcasted burning head. Over here, over here. Guns. That's what we're going to focus on. Yeah, guns over there. Uh, you get out of there. Oh, you got this. Yeah, yeah. 
Start wrapping around them. No guns are bothering them right now. That's good. Come on, don't break on us. The knights are really exhausted. Don't have many of them left. Gotta get rid of the guns. Let's keep it on. Anyone left? No. Shit. Oh crap. Try to get around them. Because this this is actually a good trade off in balance of power here. How are we going here? It's not ideal. Get rid of the damn guns. What are they doing? No, no, get get back over here. Get back over here. Archeon is not fearing faring great here, but it's gonna be difficult to get him out of there. But the knights did well, but it was just too much. That's the big problem. Oh, I hope he comes back. What a coward. Yeah, gotta get Archeon out of there. Yeah, I, I would, don't want to sacrifice him, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Keep him there. Most of the guns have been defeated. Alright, we don't have that much Winds of Magic. I'd like to try to hold on to whatever I can. How are they going over here? Cool. They they won. In that area, that's good. There's more coming. That's good that they didn't have to worry too much about the guns. Okay, get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Gotta make sure that they're shattered or... or whatever. Come on, get out of there. Alright, they're only sending melee units over here. That's a huge mistake on their part. Keep bringing the guns over this way. And just let the melee infantry now do the rest of the battle. And I'll just... I'll save up some Winds of Magic and we'll see about popping in a few casts. But yeah, also important. Whatever guns that we have managed to get rid of, keep them off the battlefield. They really don't have that many guns left. What happened to the other... Um, exalted hero? Hopefully he's not dead. Just ran off the battlefield or something. That's it. Keep sending melee infantry over here. Oh, hang on. Please don't be grenade launchers. Fuck. Okay, okay. If they're grenade launchers, that's very bad. Um, we'll need to spread out. Don't get into a big blob. I'm going to need these two to go back over there to get rid of them. Popping it down. We got to get the uh, exalted heroes over there. Um, okay, it might not break them, but if it could, that would be great. I'll need to use this more. Ah, get rid of the gunners. Good, it broke them. Get over here. It's got to be a close one for sure. 
Now they've got some gunners over here now. But they're mostly obstructed. Try to just avoid those ones there. They're too far back now. We need to get over here and provide support for the... Um, oh, good, they missed. For the Chosen. Good. Chosen are ripping through their great swords. See, they're good at that, but the Empire is never just going to bring just great swords. If they spam great swords, fine, no problem. But you know, the gunners just rip through them. We've got to put a stop to them. Just have one of them stay behind. This unit is dead anyway, so it's fine to throw it in. I feel like we're turning things around. There just isn't that much left. I hope he's immortal. Good, they won that. Now is the time for us to push back against them. Now we push back. Don't lose the hero. We, we lose If we lose the battle, they're all dead anyway, but... I feel like we're, we're kind of getting this under control now. I hope you don't mind having to replace your entire army. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, wasn't able to move fast enough, but luckily it didn't do much damage. Alright, we got us. One last spell, make it count. Try and hit this one here as well. Yeah, I think we've got this. God damn, we were really running on fumes at the end here. I think that is that the army lost? There we go. Cool. Whew, tough one, tough one. But at least it wasn't a chosen spam. If this was a chosen spam, we would have definitely lost. And they really did screw themselves over by by uh, losing so many outriders at the start. Because if we have a look at of their units, who did the most damage to us, it'd firstly probably be the outriders. And then the actual gunners. And yeah, we should definitely try to run down as many of them as possible because they're not on force march and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure that guy dies. Because if you had lost this battle, it would have been basically the end of the campaign. I get him. Oh well. I really hope that other Manticore managed to get away. I'm not entirely sure. I hope he was immortal. But there's no way for me to know at this stage. I just wasn't keeping an eye on him when he, when he uh, disappeared from our toolbar. Alright, that's gone. Yeah, that's to be expected. Alright, so looking at it, he is still alive. He ran away. Pretty much all the knights are gone, and they take two turns to recruit, so difficult to get back. So let's see how bad things are. You could even get attacked again over the end turn. 
never know. Because this does look like legendary. There was no balance of power bar. Generally speaking, people who play on very hard don't also play on battle realism. People don't choose to play battle realism because it's not fun. That's a lot of money. Um, it's good that you're in allied territory. Maybe things will be okay. Ew, do you not have any awakened vassals? Hellspire tribe. Okay, well. Well, at least being here, loads of replenishment. And you got tons of money. How'd you go with this? You got tons of growth. You know what you need to do. Okay, I don't think I need to tell you what you need to do. But you need to do what you gotta do. Okay? Okay? <laughs> do it. Just do it. It's your only army. Do what you gotta do. I don't need to repeat myself again. But just do it. If you don't do it, then it's your own damn fault if you lose. Okay? Stand back over here. You got these guys protecting you. Okay, it'll only take you two turns. Okay, do it. No excuses. Alright, anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Managed to save this campaign. That was a really, really close one. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, fuckers.